really feel like we're not we're not there. We're winning because we're just better. We need to win because we're a better team. So we're out here right now at Legacy Paintball Park in Lakeland, Florida, not far from Tampa Bay. We have New York Wrecking Crew, we have Tampa Bay Damage, and we're practicing for the AC event. So let's get after it. Lakeland, Florida. Located midway between Tampa and Orlando, this small, sleepy Central Florida suburban town has been a mecca of paintball for over two decades. Though almost every pro team has graced this land in preparation for the many major tournaments held nearby over the years, it is most well known for being the home field of Tampa Bay Damage. Long called Central Florida Paintball, the field now has a name more fitting to its storied history. It's been renamed Legacy Sports Paintball and is now operated by longtime Damage All-Star Jason Edwards. Most professional paintball teams choose to practice against other pro teams using the tried and tested mantra of iron sharpens iron. But with three wins and two second place finishes the past two years, Damage has recently been going against the grain, not wanting to give up any of their secrets. To prepare for Atlantic City, they've chosen instead to play up-and-coming semi-pro team New York Wrecking Crew, who took the win in Texas. This is the X2. Check the, check the pro side. Yeah. Always on. Let's go over these bunker names real quick, please. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, baby. Yeah. Beast. Florida. Florida. Dallas. 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 Xbox, Godzilla, Dane. Home is the Aztec here, right? Yep. <clears throat> Home, Xbox, yep. Godzilla, Godzilla Danger. Danger. Yep. I'm trying to get some generic shit done right now. That's all I'm doing. I don't think there's a spider. We're just going to roll it as a charger. As we play it out, if we figure out there is a spider, we'll adjust it. Right now, if they're at home, it's that's the widest guy, it's a charger. Yep. Just like it would be in any other layout. I told you I'll shoot that middle guy, baby. Oh my gosh, that guy is so cool. That was, that was, on this Dorito side. This one thing I picked up yesterday, if Xbox isn't on the cross or Godzilla's not on the cross, it's hard as fuck to stop that guy. So just expect them to come and also expect I expect you to go. It's a lot of crawl. Lots of crawling. To end that fast. <laughs> and it's hot. Hey, oh, need a gun. I got gun. it. I got gun. it. Gun. And I'll go up in the middle and I'll bunker the fucking gun. Yeah, now you run down this rim again. And then you look like a superstar. Line layout for us. We, we did drills yesterday, but we didn't really play the layout. So we're treating this like it's gonna be walking the field before the actual event starts on Friday for the actual MAM uh, event. 100 plus coaching points on this layout. I, I know what's real. Anything we find after Texas, it's kind of bullshit. Because what we did in Texas is what Texas, it's gonna take to win Texas. So no. I, I think a lot of teams are gonna overplay it. We're, we're done with Texas though, until Thursday, and then we're gonna win that one. When I turned around, the guy that was bonus following me was in the snake corner. I fed in the warning, but if it happens again, then it's fucking prison rules. I'll start fucking people up. I give any of the players, you know, some tips on uh, how to play this layout, or yeah, Venmo me at Mr. Stanzak. My, uh, I take PayPal. I take cash or scratchers. If you want tips?
fast. Fast layout. Very fast. Um, you got to get wide and capitalize on your bodies once you kill them on the break. That's the biggest thing. Wherever the center tower is not looking, play that side. Um, he, uh, he has to pick a side unless they double it. Um, but the way we're seeing it is whatever side he doesn't pick, that's the side that everybody's pushing. So, um, and typically that's going to be the Dorito side because it's easier to move around. They, they're looking good. They're looking good. So, it's, uh, we enjoy practicing with those guys here at Legacy. Like you were like went like instead of like a dive, you were like like almost jumping over something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like your feet went up weird. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so uh, we're out here at Legacy Sports Park. We're playing Tampa Bay Damage. They've been uh, inviting us down here this season. It's been fantastic. Shooting GI paint, straight as an arrow, making sure that we're getting uh, our lanes dialed in. We just played Texas. We ended up winning that event, so we're working our ass off to defend that title and get ready for the next one. Huge shout out to Damage. They're not even playing this layout, and they're so kind that they're helping us prepare for their our own event. And uh, something about these guys is like their lanes are so fucking good off the. Oh, I, I curse. Should I not curse? They have strong aggression. We uh, coming down here to Legacy. We know that we're going to get a good look for like every aspect of the field. They can push the Doritos. They can push the snake. They can get up in the middle. They set good traps. So we know that playing them, we're going to be prepared for anything. Yeah, listen, Damage is a legendary team. They're like 1A, 1B for best team in the world. We're so fortunate that they give us the opportunity to get spins, and we just want to push the limit as much as we can and, you know, make it happen. Right. Snake guy, right? I was going to be the snake guy. Yeah, you're still shooting snake guy. I'm Go shooting out. for the baby. Runner. Go! Florida! Florida! I don't think so. If he's looking, I don't think I can make it. So I think it. you could have gone, but here's another thing you need to do. Right here. Right in. Take that Okay. And then get into this. Okay. Right? Because at least here you can do... I can check the line, yeah. Loading. Right? You have all that, but sitting here waiting, like, you're not going to see him crawl. Okay. So, yeah, like... Oh, that's all good. It actually surprisingly didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> a little team don't, kill, man. A little mix up. It. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good. So uh, going into next weekend, uh, starting on Thursday, finishing up the Texas event and then into the AC event, it's a little bit different than what we normally do because it's two events in one. Uh, one is a layout that we know really well, uh, and one is a brand new layout that we don't we won't know until we see it after we finish on Thursday. So. Preparation's very similar to what we do. It's not so much learning the layout as much as just getting the guys to click and play together. Communication's everything, right? Um, we played the divisional layout, uh, played New York Wrecking Crew all weekend. Uh, gave them some really good looks, really good spins. The good thing about this, I, I feel with this layout, is if it's anything like this where they don't have a home, um, we, we're gonna have a leg up on people that haven't played this layout because not having a home is something we have not had in a long time. There's always a home bunker. This, this time they moved the home off to the side so it's not traditional at all. So if he decides to roll that into the AC, I feel playing this was a really good idea. If not, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, we're, we're a bunch of seasoned guys that are really, really smart. Breaking down fields is kind of what we do. Getting the guys right in the head playing like it's Sunday on Thursday. Nothing on that layout we don't know. I mean, we've played every situation at least once on the same layout. So, I mean, I've coached 100 plus points easily on this layout already. So I feel like it's not gonna be any surprises. Yeah, yeah, so Texas, that's pretty much all of our focus right now. So all we gotta do is beat Aftershock, wait for, I think the Kings, Blast can't play each other, and then they, the winner of that plays the Russians. Winner of that will play us after we beat Shock. They look good, but you know. They're gonna run into a roadblock very fast. You know, I mean, Hosky, if they if they lean on Hosky, it's gonna be a tough match for them because you know, he is he is a rookie, so he's gonna make a couple mistakes, and we're not going to let him get away with mistakes. So we're a pretty disciplined team. As long as we play to our full potential, shock won't touch us.
shot on the home on that first rap. That was yeah, gross. It took me a second to follow him. That was nasty. Yeah, right in the upper. Can you? Yeah, just do that. That shit was gross. And then the baby was so uncomfortable, you had him completely trapped. Oh, Solidifying our communication, um, coming together, having a lot of fun. It's a very fast field. Hey, I'm Dan Moore. I've uh, been around Central Florida Paintball for the last 20 years. Tampa Bay Damage has always been a home team to me. It's uh, basically a privilege to be able to help out and work with these guys. Um, I try and just be good eyes for them on the field, see where teams break out to, see where the pushes are happening, see where's we, uh, where we can manipulate and can control the game. So basically just any way that I can help out, see, and offer good information. Yeah, I travel um, to every event, so I'm always with damage. Who's this? Is this you, Keith? Look out. It literally is slam full of shit. It's a tote. Fanny pack crunch. We're going to the gym. We got our sweat towel. I wipe my ass with that. In case you get dirty. Emergency. What else we got? Oh. Got, him. got my tank wrench. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little dirty. You don't want to ruin your paintball gloves. Bring a towel with you. <laughs> Could pull a Brian Smith and waste a pair of gloves every weekend. A fresh sock. A sock. A fresh sock. That's it. Hey, that's Florida man stuff. Only Florida man stuff around here. No, that's Polk County. That ain't no Florida. That's Polk County. <laughs> yeah. That's a different level. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll just give you this seven minutes. Appreciate you. So the big, this chunk is barrel fish, this is grouper. He likes it, look at him. He likes it, he likes it. He likes it. Chris, I never, I never ate sushi, like, he never liked sushi off, so you know it's until yeah. Chad. Or he would have done that, he would have done that. He would have done handed it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me give that guy some baby wipes. Yeah, I'm getting fancy, son. Yeah, I want the slow mo first. Oh. I'm a rookie in this too. Yeah, I'm trying my best. Man. I'm from Melbourne, Florida, dog. We don't, we don't, we don't got this. Arthur, get you one. Yeah. Hey, oh, take a bite, dog. Here. Kido, get this. This is how I buy myself out of practice the first week, and I just go fishing and catch them all the, the fish getting ready for sushi. Yeah, I went to Louisiana last week. Caught a bunch of. This is queen snapper, chopped up. Dancing. A little spicy mayo. A little dangerous. And just injected into a. It's like a flavored, uh, crispy piece of nori. It does not nori. taste like fish. We'll break out a little piece. Look, yeah, here's a tiny little piece right here. No, 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 it's delicious. This one, this one, not that one. I like this one better. Where's the cheese? It's not. Always spot on. Always. You wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. You, you guys wouldn't like it. Just, just, just don't eat it. You wouldn't like it. It's not that good. God like damn, those are good. Thank you. 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 Thank Taking a little break, trying to eat up. Replant, hot out here in Florida, super humid. Um, great weekend, uh, wrecking crew, and uh, the Tampa Bay Damage Boys, thank you to Legacy Sports Park. But we out here just having fun, taking a little lunch break, and we'll get right back at it. Let's go. They're good ones. Hey, that was the uh, 50 snake from the beam on the outside. You know what's funny, though? All of these are marky. They might not have been today, but all of these are marky. I feel like today we're definitely punching back. Definitely punching back. Um, by the way, too, shout out to the Damage Boys, man. We enjoy this so much. I mean, there's no better practice than that we could get. And then also the hospitality, and they're becoming my favorite pro team, not just because of their play, but because of who they are. Fantastic people. Jason, thank you. Um, Joey, thank you. Marky, no thanks. They definitely are good at everything. Um, they have guys that can attack. They have guys that can sit. I think their forte is when they're strong out of the pocket and they're hitting their shots. Definitely the best, in my opinion, break shooting pro team in the division. And then as well, even when you're gun battling them, you have to respect that every ball is right there. 
We're out here mixing it up, chopping it up. Sometimes shit, you know, it goes down, bang, bang. But they're the first ones to come over and say, hey, you bounced me here. Or, hey, you know, hey, try this next time. So the collaboration with them, the way they've been helping us out, I mean, we couldn't ask for anything more. The fuck you expect, bro? <laughs> come fucking ultra launch at me. I, I did. Bro, and you're late. Yeah. Like, dooka, 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 dooka. This is really bad. Yeah. And I was just and like. And he literally <laughs> catches me. He's like, I'm just like, as I'm shooting you, you land. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Hey, are you OK? <laughs> Jacob, fuck. too, I think. But I knew what he was going to do. So I kind of like let him go. And I was like, ah, this bitch, bitch. Okay. Good point, good point. Hey, way to get in there right away. That was yeah. so fast on that fill. It almost didn't seem like we didn't even lose somebody. It was so quick. I was crawling into their bunker and they're both standing up. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, and now we're refilling it up and spraying it again to hopefully get the rest of the shit out. My name's Derek Blackwell. I've been working here for about three to four months. We're actually seeding today on the other field, on the training field. Then we'll flip that, seed the other field. So we're doing everything we can to have grass and turf uh, at the best quality here in Central Florida. Yeah, we, we built some outdoor showers, uh, actually four stalls uh, total right now. We had our, our professional teams come in. We know it's hard to like run back to the hotel, you know, shower and then catch a flight. So me and my, my father went out and built some outdoor showers and it's been a huge hit. I mean, it's, it looks just like beach showers, you know, you, you go in there, you're completely safe, it's private. You got hot water piped in, power to power, power shower. It's time for the power shower. You got it stripped down, you got to get out of here. That's my Geico representative. Yeah, that's, our newest, that's our newest guy, too. That's our new state player. <laughs> oh! Oh, hold on! Where did he jump on? He's on you. Yeah, this is the end. All finished up. Played about 30 points today. 30 points yesterday, so... Everybody's a little tired, and then we're gonna wrap it up, baby. It's a double banger, right? You get to go in, we get to finish the Texas event, and then turn right around and try to win the, uh, the Atlantic City event. We did so bad in Vegas, which we're not typically a team to have a bad event like that. So we got a lot to make up for. Um, not a dig on them, but you know, luckily Dynasty did not do well in Texas and already is out. So this is our chance to catch up to them in series points. So we want to go in, we need to win Texas, and then we need to really focus on make, having a dominant performance in AC. Yep, going into Thursday, our first match is against Chicago Aftershock. Can't hold anything lightly against them. They're going to come out swinging, but you know we're going to come out and swing a little bit harder. We're playing Sunday paintball on a Thursday, so just like any other Sunday, you can't make a single mistake, and if you do, you better make up for it real quick. Legion's definitely looking super strong. X Factor and Heat both look super strong. Ironman were 4-0 going in. They had to beat good teams to get to 4-0, so I know for us to win two, two events in one weekend, we got to win 10 matches straight. So that's the goal. The goal is to go out and win 10 matches straight. It's just definitely going to you know, come down to the whole roster. Um, this is not one that you could just make it on with you know, five to six guys type of thing, so everyone's going to need to be ready. Um, it's just demanding kind of way to look at this weekend going forward. Yeah, but you still see like look, the shock bodies. Those guys aren't unfamiliar to making Sunday. Maybe that, that name isn't, but those bodies have been there, right? Heat, they've been there. X Factor, they've been there. Russians, they're looking scary now when they have their full, all, they have five, you know, five really good players. Uh, Ironman got it together, right? 
So it's it's the cream of the crop that made it through, and it's the best versions of those teams. So it's not like you know you you have a cakewalk in any of those games. They're all going to be grinders, and everyone's working hard. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting to play that on Thursday.